Hello friends, it's Em, and welcome back to Em's Storytime. Today, we get to share another really special story. Today's story is called, How the Elephant Got His Trunk. We have lots of elephants, and we're going to find out how they got their trunks. Are you ready? Let's read. How the Elephant Got His Trunk Illustrated by John Joven Once in a time long forgotten, elephants didn't have trunks. They just had short, stumpy noses. There's the elephant with his short, stumpy nose. This story tells how the short, stumpy noses became long. Baby elephant was very curious. He was always asking questions. Why does ostrich have feathers? Why does giraffe have spots? One day he asked, what does crocodile eat? Oh, hush, baby elephant, said his mother. There's baby elephant asking all the questions. So, elephant went to see his friend snake. What does crocodile eat? He asked. I don't know, snake replied. He lives in the great green Limpopo River. Why not ask him yourself? Do you see the snake? There he is. Elephant went down to the great Limpopo River and found Crocodile basking in the shallows. There's Crocodile with his long pointy teeth. Excuse me, Crocodile, what do you eat? Elephant asked politely. I wonder what Crocodile will say. Crocodile smiled a dangerous smile. Why, little elephant, don't you know? I eat elephants! <gasps> oh no! Look at Mr. Crocodile! Run, little elephant! With a quick snip snap, Crocodile caught elephant's nose. Let go! squealed elephant, but Crocodile did not let go. He pulled and pulled as hard as he could. Oh dear, said Snake. Help, cried Elephant, I'm slipping. A little white bird caught a hold of his tail. Look at the little white bird helping pull little Elephant as hard as he could. Snake wound himself around Elephant's tummy. They pulled and pulled with all their might. At last, Crocodile let go. Maybe I'll have fish today, he said and slunk back into the river. There is poor little elephant free at last. But look, <gasps> do you see his trunk? Oh no, said Elephant. His nose had stretched. It was a little sore and very, very long. Look how long little elephant's nose is now. Don't worry, said Snake. A long nose might be useful. What do you think? Could a long nose be useful? Let's see. Elephant's nose soon felt better. And to his surprise, he did find it useful. With his new long nose, Elephant could squirt water, brush pesky flies away, and pick juicy fruit from tall trees. Look at Elephant getting the fruit from the trees with his new long nose. Elephant went home happily and showed his family his new long nose. Where did you get that? Everyone asked. Crocodile gave it to me, said Elephant. Look.
look at little elephant. So proud of his new long nose. When they saw how useful baby elephant's new long nose was, all the others went down to the great green Limpopo River and got long noses too. What do you think they did? There's Mr. Crocodile. Do you think the same thing happened to all the other elephants, making their noses nice and long? I think so. And don't they all look so happy? That is the end of our story. Did you enjoy that story? I did. Would you like to sing our goodbye song now? Here we go. Thank you, thank you for being here today. Thank you, thank you and have a nice day. All right, my friends, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.